Alrighty, am I coming through okay? Also, is the game audio coming through okay? Everything looks all right. I'm gonna do a quick sync. Make sure everything's good. A, B, C. One, two, three. I might have to do it again. Good. All right. So let me turn this off. Look at my audio. There we go. All right, so welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Sorry I missed out on uh, streaming it last night. I was like not feeling good and I just like passed out by the time uh, uh, stream time came around. Um, let's see, what did we do in the last time? La oh, actually, I think the only highlight I remember from last time was trying to find the KKK uh, gathering and then finding it at the end of the stream. Um, what else did we do? I think we ran back and forth between the two manors, uh, delivering letters to like a whole little Romeo and Juliet kind of thing. Um, did some stuff with Hosea, uh, sold, or actually not really sold, more like gave out moonshine. But um, yeah, I've actually just been doing some uh, side quest stuff along with heading toward what could be a little weird Easter egg, although it's supposed to be dark by the time I get there. And it's not exactly dark. It's only 5 o'clock. So, I can either just walk around and hunt, or just go ahead and hit make my way back to camp. Because um, before I started the, uh, like, probably about half an hour ago, I went ahead, went ahead and um, got the three items that I was looking for, the camp item requests, the uh, fountain pen for Mary Beth, the book for Jack, and the harmonica for Sadie. Um, the book and the fountain pen were actually in, where was it? It's in this house over here, like, uh, about east of Emerald Station. And the thing is, that house was actually sealed up when I got in there, they're like dead bodies. It was weird. It was like sealed up. So I didn't really think much on it. I just looked around and grabbed stuff. And the harmonica for Sadie is actually back at the um, <laughs> oh, excuse me, back at that uh, pig farmer slash ex uh, gunslinger that I shot in the head when he tried to throw a knife at me. Yeah, it's back at his place. Although when I went back there, there was another guy who was actually like tending to the farm. He told me to uh, get lost, and when I wouldn't leave, he tried to shoot me. So I shot him in the head and threw him into the pig farm, and they started eating him. I didn't know that was a thing. Apparently it is. Like if you throw a dead body into a pig sty, they'll eat it. Which is weird, gross, and interesting at the same time, I guess, if you want to think think of it that way. A lot of horses around here, I just noticed. But, um, 
Yeah, if I can be able to find this Easter egg, then we can go ahead and head straight to, uh, straight back to camp, get those items, and then do all of those, uh, there we go, all of those, uh, story missions. Apparently it's supposed to be over here. Let me take out that waypoint. Yeah, it's supposed to be up here. Hey, Mike. Just in time. We're just getting started. I'm actually looking for a um, little bit of an Easter egg. Kind of like the, the ghost train that I tried to look for uh, last time. This is supposed to be something uh, wrong with this. Uh... Let's get the boomstick. Was that a bear? Hang on. Am I in bear country? Well, the bear's all the way up there. I don't know if you think he's able to come at me from down here. Well, we are kicking it, up, kicking it off with creepy shit. Like that whole murder thing from last time wasn't enough. Can't carry more. Wonder if it's even safe to even be here. Cigarettes. Cocaine gum? No. Hmm, is that a card? Oh, it is a card. Dr. Hawthorne's Artists, Writers, and Poets card. Edith Corinne. Elsie Rose, Hoyant, uh, author, 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 author. I don't recognize any of these. Now those gunslingers, that might be a different story. I remember, I think, seeing one and it had Landon Ricketts on there. Potent Miracle Tonic? I'll take that. Since I actually have room for something. This looks like a cult kind of thing. Wait, what's that say? Mysterious sermon. At the second hour under the half moon, by the great love and grace of our savior, Kukowaba, voyager of time and galaxies, we cast off our corp... That is a bear. That is straight up a bear. Off in the distance. I can hear him. Cast off our corporal shells so his vessel can take our spirits to the promised realm. To live in peace and power until the 2000th year. And then we will return for the new chosen and worship once again at the peak of Mount Shan. In his love, we rejoice always. Peak of Mount Sean. Is that an actual place around here? 
Wait, hold on. Is there something on the back of that? I don't have to worry about anything, hopefully, not coming at me. Yet. Alright, Mount Shan, or Mount Shan, however it's pronounced. Well, this will be the only place that would have mountains. Mount Hagen. Spider Grove. Probably be somewhere up here, but I haven't been here yet. Unless it's... Ah! Big Valley of West Elizabeth. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I don't have recipe for that yet anyways to begin with, so it would have been a really, really bad idea. Oh, crapula, what is that? Unknown animal. This is not going to be pretty. We're going to need some more firepower. Rutherford, stay. Also, where's the moon? This where I hunted that big one? Uh, no, because the the one that attacked me in the first uh, oops, wrong one. The one that attacked me in the first session that killed me instantly is all the way up here. Yeah, right there. So I don't think he would be anywhere near here. If it is a bear, it's probably just gonna be a regular bear. disappearing all over the place. I'm 
Okay, I lost the trail. But I can steal here, whatever the hell it is. Right for nine o'clock. Yeah. I can't see the moon. I can't tell. Wait, what does it say? Half moon? Easy now. Second hour under the half moon. So, second hour, 2 a.m.? You tell me I gotta wait here until 2 a.m. if it is a half moon, if I can find the damn moon. Also, what is that? I'm assuming that's the moon, but the clouds are in the way, to can't, uh, so I can't really tell what phase it is. Yep. Of course, it'd be a big ass cloud in the way. Send that uh, card. Will you clear out of here? Oh, wrong please? way, wrong way, wrong way. I'm sorry. Sorry. Send it apparently, or does it have to be a complete set before I can send Good day it? To you. Ah, that looks like a half moon. It's okay, Rutherford. It's okay. He's going the other direction. It's not going to hurt you.
aliens. Yep. Frickin' aliens, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Insert alien memes here. So hang on. Mount Shan's over here. Wonder what happens if I go there. Should I go there or head to uh, back to camp? Friggin' insane. Hang on, what did it say? When we return for the new chosen, we'll worship once again at the peak of Mount Shan. Yeah, peak. So, what happens if I go there now? Should I go there now, or should I just go straight to the camp? back to the camp unless you guys tell me otherwise. Run this thing over? Yep. You know what? Screw it. We're invested. We found out that there are aliens. I want to see how this turns out. Um, 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 it's all the way over here. of changing my outfit because I don't think I have uh, Arthur's uh, winter clothes in case I actually do need it. I mean, that's it's the top of a mountain, obviously. Unless... Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, is there, there's a store here, right? There is. Okay. I can change clothes in there. Alright, we're gonna haul ass. Last or the third. I 
can't believe we went from the KKK in one stream to aliens in the next. Wasn't able to find a ghost train yet, but who knows. This is a very risky move on my part. It's another rotten animal. Where is it? Yeah. Move out the way. Oh crap. Jump. Okay, or not. There we go. Yeah. You're okay. You're okay. I know you're getting tired. Oh crap. That's a bird. Haul ass. Let's up with this camera! Yeah. yeah, let the train take care of them. Puppies. Very mean puppies. I'm hearing a whole lot of animals. There we go. Come get your meat. Slow down. Out of the way. Hey, you blind. 
What the hell are you doing? Is Rutherford steaming? Right there. Morning, friend. Why is he steaming? What the hell? Just get out of my way. How are you? <laughs> Running him so hard, like half across, uh, halfway across the country, that he's freaking like. Take a look, if you will. <laughs> Wait, that's not the one. Um, I there was a shootout in Valentine, almost shit, I don't think he doesn't have a wardrobe here. Jailbreak. Damn, he doesn't have a wardrobe here. Thanks. Oh shoot! Unless I can be able to make a camp somewhere and change my outfits from there. That's not it. Here we go. Should have figured as much it wouldn't be that easy. But I do have a lot of stuff to cook. But shit. I should have stopped at Valentine. thicker outfit in in the town or maybe access my uh Arthur's uh whoop where the hell are we I thought we were on like Is that the dude picking plants? Yep. All right. Watch out. How much money do I have? Eighty nine. Got an outfit in here. It's an old book. Careful with the pages. Uh, clothing. Outfits. Mm. No. No. Shit. 
Sheesh. Customers sure love that. Not sure if you've met that taxidermist, Mrs. Hobbs, who lives near here. She's quite a cat. Well, that's the only thing that looks rather insulated. But I don't see anything. Suitable for hot temperatures, not not I cold temperatures. All right, so we're probably just gonna have to yeah, hold off well, on the mountain All climbing right, until then. I can get his other outfit. So I just wasted my time. Good morning, Mister. Hang on, there should be a. Here we go. Stagecoach. Yeah. Yep. I would like to think that'd be some sort of fast trap around here. Yeah. Brother, follow. Yay for fast travel. Here we are, all in one piece too. What's this? Thanks, mister. You help me out, friend. You want pay, you get back to it. Hi, folks. Morning, mister. That's not the one. That's the one. What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson stead. Good for you, if that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. 
Goodness. My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Old pistol. My ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Steads. North of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Bank says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Wait, how far is that? Oh, that's all the way up there. Yeah, we could. Let's go ahead and go over here. Actually, wait, hang on. While I am here, we must... Wait, where is the... Uh... something from the store whatever you want it's on me <laughs> claim okay. a free single item sweet conquered evil the way i have it's the least a humble man can do what can i do for you the uh, yeah, guy no, with the snake bite humble. says i can put something here on his tab that fool jesus if it's not one thing it's another with him but he pays his old so who am i to argue let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. Let's see what we got here. It's only one thing. Mm. Brew coffee at your camp. Pocket watch displays current time. Do I have that on the. Oh. Well. Could get a fish lure. Heartlands. Oh, gambler. in my eye. do I want <laughs> I'll just have to wait figure something out later that's not what I came here for here we go That's the one. Okay, uh, store on horse. There we go. Also, you are very filthy, Arthur.
we got time by the end of the stream, we'll go back to that mountain. It's okay. It's okay, Rutherford. It's too far away for us to hurt it. For it to hurt us. Namely you. You're absolutely fine. something for you, Sadie. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. Hang on, can I give her the, uh... Making sure. Okay, then. Hey, will you give me some damn space? I'm trying to. Sorry, I'm in a world of my own. <laughs> okay, Arthur. All right, fine. I'll give you a harmonica later. Maybe when you're not on patrol, I guess. Yeah. When camp requests are fulfilled, they appear as a little dot character in question. Check with them to complete the request. Okay. So who do we got here? See Jack. Mary Beth is currently indisposed of at the moment. Where's Jack? There he is. Arthur, we need to talk to you. One second. storybook you lost. Thanks so much, Uncle Arthur. Do you want to have this? I found it near camp. Sure. Thanks, Jack. Ooh, a chocolate bar. Alright, next, uh, where's Sadie? I see the little icon. Oh, there she is. Sadie, I got something for you. Gotta help anyone who tries to get past you. Hi. You look pissed off. <laughs> no more than usual. Okay. Just checking you're all right. Okay, Arthur. Give her the damn harmonica, or probably just has to be not on patrol, I guess. All right, so I don't have to wait. All right, since Bill talked to me first, let's talk to him. Where's Bill? What is it? 
We got something cooking you might be interested in. I'm not gonna like the sound of this. Sodom but back to Gamora. Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. Us? You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. Performing. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Oh, well, this is gonna be good. All right. Let's go. The Mr. hell am I wearing? Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, then he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move out. All right, hopefully he's gonna follow him in the cinematic. Because the fact that they so, mentioned Thomas Downs has me a little bit worried. This big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can. Once the shooting starts. Oh god, I gotta hold well, down the friggin'. That's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. It should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Is that why I suddenly uh, have dynamite in my uh, inventory? Oh, and did Nuts tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured <laughs> they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that. And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this then. 
Alright, but before they started talking, uh, yeah, it kind of... I can't say worry about the fact that they mentioned Thomas Downs again. And I've noticed this when I watched uh, Bowling Otter and Markiplier on their run through this game. Uh, that they mentioned tuberculosis. And that Thomas Downs possibly might have had TB. And when Arthur went to go visit him for the, uh, the first time around, he actually coughed the uh, blood in his face. So there's a possible chance that Arthur might end up having uh, TB. Oh. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hang on, hang on. There you go. Oh no, we'll find out if we... Uh, hang on, is it giving us the option to... Or is it showing up on the map that we could probably visit that place again? Well, not right now. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. today yeah if we can even get near the bank without someone recognizing us and raising hell that will have to wait we're here let's take it nice and easy the consumption yeah the the uh, the whole tuberculosis thing if that actually does come true it's gonna be like doc holiday all over again Funny how that mentions that in uh, my pre-show music was uh, the theme song from the movie Tombstone. Good morning. Hi there. Follow me, fellers. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Hmm. So, which one? I'd flip the coin, but I don't have the coin with me. First answer I see in the chat, I'm going to go with. Come on, play along. Give me a sec. Give me a sec, Karen. I'm waiting for my chat.
Harlot. All right. Oh, of course, you know I like the harlot. <laughs> You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolania. Now where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good what luck, Arthur means by that? We got this. Like, mm, you know I like the heart. Of it. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's got him real dead. Don't know me. Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. This is too much. I've never seen this balloon in my life. Get your goddamn right. hands up! Go. This is goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Nowhere enough! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! It's unlocked! We're good! Oh, you think we're here? Come on. Open that goddamn vault. Oh, open it. Oh. 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 Going in there. Too slowly. You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Sooner. Don't make me hurt you. Too goddamn slow! I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. Uh, Open the lock boxes now! I... Uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I... God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. We got the dynamite. Uh, actually, no, we might end up losing a whole lot of it if we blow them up. Let's try and crack them. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you better be quick. <clears throat> you shut the hell up and stay still. Can't rush this shit. Ever tried picking a lock? It takes a while. Come on now. How are you getting on? Holy Going crap. As fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boy, All right, there we go. Need to move this along. All right. another one cleared this is looking good how much longer nearly there sorry partner <clears throat> shit hurry up 
Ooh, five grand out of that one. Come on. There we go. Yeah, because I feel like if I use the dynamite, I'd end up, I might end up damaging some of the money. There we go. Huzzah! In the morning. Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company. Excuse me, sir. We got the place surrounded. An extra two dollars out of that. Assuming folk ain't getting there, you won't swing. I said, come out now. What do we do? I don't know. Give me a sec. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What, are you insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry. One, two... It's gonna shoot off his hat. Three... Four. Get Tell me twice. Gotcha. Where the hell are they coming from? Still alive. There you go. Oh, he's getting dragged. Make me shoot your horse. There we go. They're still coming. Gotcha. Come on, get across. Gotta beat that train, Morgan. Oh, God. 
Oh god. Rutherford! Rutherford! Time Marco 44, thank you for whatever that is. A sticker. Dangerous. Thank you, Phil. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Phil, thank this you. is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. Mrs. Downs. Yep. There we go. You all right, boy? <laughs> Oof. Oh god. Cold coffee burp. That's gross. GCG Awesome, thank you for the follow. Hope you've been enjoying my stream so far. Oh god, what's this border here? $10? That's it? Sure, I can pay that off right now. Hold on, how much did I get from that? Only $83. It's all those thousands of money. I, I, I didn't get a, a look of that. I didn't get a single lick from all those thousands of dollars. God friggin' dang it. Sad music is playing. I don't like this. Can I pet the dog? My husband's not cold on the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or a lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take <laughs> your word on that. Good day. Yeah, there's no mention of how he died, but I'm pretty sure it probably was tuberculosis. It's Doc Holiday all over again. I wonder if he's gonna start showing signs.
Oh, nice. Let's see. Holy crap! Okay, there's my take right there. Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. Hang on one second, Dutch. I gotta, I, I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta do the whole thing about the, uh, about the camp getting its slice. Not like it needs it. I feel like uh, uh, that number is should be a lot larger than it should, uh, than it, like it appears to be. Hang on, is it? Does that take show up in the ledger? <laughs> Uh, fifteen cents, fifty-four cents, dollar, two dollars, forty-five. Uh, nope, no, it doesn't. Okay. Well, yeah, give all the debts. No matter how much that is. And contribute. Hold on, I think I got like a whole bunch of items. Here we go. Yeah. I'm gonna keep my cash. You can have all of this. Shoot. Yeah, I have picked up all of this stuff and have not sold it for anything. Wait, I can't sell anymore. I can't uh, contribute more. Come on. There's a lot where that came from. Not like I need it. Holy crap, three hundred dollars. Yeah, sure, why not? Again, not like I need it. He's got two and a half grand up in here. That's good enough for now. All right, who is this? Ah, Sadie! I got something for you. There she is. Hey there. Here, got a hold of a harmonica for you. Look forward to hearing you play. The only audience I ever had was my husband, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Aw. Fair enough. But thank you, Arthur. This is real kind of you. Aww. Not even a kiss on the cheek. God dang it, Sadie. Come on, how do you play me like this? All right, who else was I missing? Mary Beth. Where is she at? She is still indisposed of. Where the hell she is? Mr. Pearson, he takes good care of us. Okay, yeah, you're currently disposed of, so I'm gonna talk to Dutch. Alright. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease. I'm sweating. Swamp, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Go to Charles. Chuck, where are you? I like Charles. I like Charles. I like Lenny. Bill's alright. Micah I don't like. John obviously like. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay.
Ooh, that booze. Chug. Rutherford, stop shitting. We got things to do. And on that note of the whiskey, apparently Arthur has got an insane iron stomach. Because I was watching, um... Where are we uh, going? Matt and Liz... Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Sir Lonnie. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Hey, Shadow. Yeah, he not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. Doing good. If he gets into nooks and crannies, the rest of us can't. Kind of just, we just speaking need between to this. find him before he scurries off again. Missed out on a bank robbery. Made two grand. I don't ever have to worry about being poor ever again. Unless something happens. Knock on wood. What do you mean, did I start over? here is it in town or I'm okay it's right there I think it's just up here And this looked familiar like you started a new game. No, no, I started. I didn't start a new game and just continued on. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Why'd you draw your gun? Why are you creeping? Someone got here first. Whoa. So it seems. A social call. Check the house. Yoink. You see anything there? Yoink. This food barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Found anything? Nice stream. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's see what we got here. Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company. This is to certify that blank is the holder of blank shares inclusive to the above company, subject to the provisions of the memorandum and articles of the association thereof, and that the sum of one dollar has been paid on each of the said shores secretary blank. Tacitus Kilgore. That's the L alias that the they were um, so using. It seems. this. Uh, I don't need snake oil. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. You find something? Ooh, uh, that's a clue. 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 Clue! There you go. I'd say, there's some blood here. Maybe, uh... 
12 hours Ain't ago? Ain't good. But no body? Not yet. Look. Tracks. Come on. Wait, hang on. Let me see this right here. Nothing. That's a good. Here's my plan B, when my plan A porn. What are you doing? Does not work Let's out. Go. That's a bit TMI. Their shadow, but. But I guess that sort of thing nowadays is like everybody they poops, so. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. Shit. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? They must have crossed over the tracks. Huh. They seem to head into the forest now. Where's it going? Did I just miss a turn? I did. Whoa! Sorry, Charles. Thought you were doing the way out. Yeah. Oh, we actually were. If it was uh, possible, we we're gonna do it last night. Uh, Kugu was unable to do it uh, tonight, so most likely we'll be doing it tomorrow. Arthur, where are you going? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? Fisticuffs! Oh, my hat! You got some of You wanna come at me? One dramatics! One dramatics! This would get for knocking off my freaking hat! Who do you think you are? Hey Charles. That's one. You stay there. Give me a sec. Or not. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. Better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. You better be telling me the truth. Are you? Get him on. Whoa, what the frick? You got lucky there, my friend. My live? My live? For a second there, I thought I went flying into the sky. That was very weird. What the hell, Arthur? Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Ah, yes, this place. You okay? I'm good. 
What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and well, mm. loyalty matters to Dutch. He loves his hat. Of course, I love my hat. Is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. It's what makes the cowboy I guess outfit. Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's a special talent. Keeping fish on the line. Is he playing us like a damn fiddle? It better not be. further Be close oh here's a fun little tidbit apparently you can get clotheslined by tree branches because uh like just before stream I had him going on like auto ride and like two seconds in Come on, boy. the thing is after that sack this will be remembered like a good time put the man down gentlemen is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so uh, you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Hang on, is that my... Ooh. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. Quick, find them. Find, eliminate... There you are. Oh, too close for that. The hell are they? Come on, where are they? That's one. Come on, you cowards. Can I see anything? Where'd the other one go? We need to find these bastards. Where the hell are Oh, I see you. There's one over here. Here, stay, you bastard. Where are you? We got one more, Charles. Any more of them? Over there, where the birds are. Hey, I see something on the ground over here. What the hell is this? He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone. Keep looking. 
looking, Arthur. He must be close. Is he running around naked? Gotta be in that little area there. Where would we be hiding? You see anything? I'm looking. See him. No, he's not in there. What the fuck? Oh, the fuck? He's mine. Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Ooh. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. Fine. Oh, shit. Time to go. Gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Uh, are we run in or fight? Ah, damn, freaking. All right, I see how it is. One. What the hell is You're that? Right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fellas. I wonder how Hang much he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. I see Seems something like up here. Catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> Sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. Rare rolling block. Hang on. What's the difference between this one and the m mine? Interesting. It's got engravings. Not gonna give me any tactical advantage whatsoever, but that is a long ass scope. Come on. Yeah. Let's not drag this out any longer. Alright, we'll take this. Excuse me. chance to loot you. Take from the rich. Is that one dude still there? Uh, do me a solid and pardon me, Charles. Thank you. Alright, now we can go. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? 
You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? They were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Yet somehow he still keep, manages to keep his mustache nice and curly. Bear a grudge. Oh, it <laughs> more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. There's always New Austin. But I don't think we ever can get close to that. Bear grudge, not so much. I just felt like he deserved it. If if I didn't get uh, kill him, uh, if uh, if Charles didn't kill him, I probably would have done it anyways. All right, so we got that. Jose is currently unavailable for some reason, probably because I shot up Braithwaite Manor. Jose Trelawney. We got John Marston right here. Let's go see what John's up to. How are you, boy? Hold on, where's my car's at? Mm, let's eat something. That did not do shit for me. Uh, yeah, I'm better off just like getting small stuff. Um, there we go. Right now I'm craving cheese. What was that? Look out! Oh, it's another hey, one of them. Will you give me some money? Sure. Okay. sure. Not another one of you that was missing an arm. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from around here. If that was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they... They somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. Ah, uh, so? Yeah, sure. I can scarcely believe it. Well, thank you for the nice tidbits there, sir. You have a good day. Dogging! Pet the dog. Hey, boy. Pet the dog. Pet the dog! That beagle? American Foxhound. Oh, okay. I will pet every single dog I come across, assuming Rutherford doesn't accidentally run them over. Because it has happened off stream once. And I was not happy with him. God, I, I, I,
What? <laughs> Englishman called Gavin. I know of an Englishman. You know what? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I've indulge. Friend. Somebody help me, please. Right here, sir. Morning. Listen, have you seen? I'm looking for my friend Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke, lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. <laughs> That's, uh, that's okay, too bad. Fella. Gavin! Gavin Rosdale. No, I was thinking more of Gavin Free. Although that would be funny if he actually does make an appearance. Hell, Jack, uh, Jeff and Jack already made appearances in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if Gavin had and, uh, Gavin popped up in here. Flesh for there? dinner? What? Sure. We're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Oh, so Javier's here too. Gonna eat Rutherford. Oh, great. Is that how he's gonna go? Good man. Like you. You don't know me. You turn up in this town and you're helping everybody. And everywhere there's troubles. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had. Problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. They're hag and her inbred sons. They ruin this county. They kill Brace my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. Holy oh, shit. Thousand for horses. Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Is it me or is John Marston's outfit slowly progressing to the way he looked in, um, in Red Dead Redemption 1? Like his his hat and his pants are starting to look like they did in the first game. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. 
Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. Alright, so you've met the Braithwaite before, that mean old woman with the moonshine. Already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Hell, I got two and a half grand from Bomb the Bank. Gonna play this. The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But head on up to the stables. Smell a double cross oh, to be, be true. More like just heavy resistance. Again, these two families don't like each other. Like I said, there's like a whole Romeo and Juliet That's thing going it. on around here. Nice and easy. No need to rush. You don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Yeah, I know what you mean. I got a bad right. feeling about this. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head around the front, hitch up there. Yeah. All right, let's hitch up here. Whoa! The third, you are a big ass horse. Talking. All right, time to work that charm. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here, you, Scarface, and your greaser buddy? Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs, looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs. Oops, excuse me, John. Purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? Uh, we represent a famous uh, sorry. stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. Until he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. Your boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. My favorite horse. His coat might be a little thin for them Saratoga winners, but, uh, bred right. He'll produce another winner. Shh. Ah, uh -huh, greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. We don't need nobody recognizing us. I'm taking Cerberus. Right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other. John, I'm up. Oh, fine, I'll take Old Faithful. 
Easy. Easy. Good boy. Easy. Easy now. Take it easy now. Marsh, pull hold him now. Marsh, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Easy. You're all right. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go. Quick. Uh oh. Go, get out of here. What the hell you just. Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Oh yeah, run, run, run his ass over. Oh, Rutherford! Boom! Boom! Not the horse. Hang on. There we go. Boomstick. And of course, we're probably running into more trouble. Probably the one raiders. Shit! One of the stallions is loose. Keep going. I'll get him. Come here. Get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> you think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. I don't know, but one of them. Look, this one looks like he got a bullet hole to the, la uh, the neck, but we'll see. Okay, you took out the mask. To say trouble, of course, they'll come out of the woodwork. Oh, hey! What you boys want? Heard you was, uh... Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That's yeah, so. it's those two guys from, uh... From online. From the, yeah, That's Clay and Clive. Clive. Clive doesn't talk. Twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, 
Oh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it, or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You Better than nothing. Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again. I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagine we was going to be Sadie has left a reward for you at your tent. Uh, at the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. $700, not bad. At least I didn't eat Rutherford. Can sell horses to Clay and Clive. Just like online, that, that, that starting mission. Right, let's see what we got here at the, uh, my tent. Oh, Beatrice Morgan. I think that was Ma. I don't know. What's this? Of course. That old windbag. He's no windbag. Oh, that's uh, what's her name? A seer. He sees things that we don't know yet. I know. I'm just teasing. You're just afraid of opening your mind because you might not like what you find. Right. Brazen bank robbery. You know, he always had the most incredible way of five thousand dollars. Mr. Miller has a way of putting things. Me, I'm, I'm just an old outlaw. That's for healing to go quietly. Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're, you're theological compendium. Well. You're amazing. What the hell am I overhearing? Oh, that's already been there. Rambles through the woods and plains. Okay, that's the uh, like guide on the uh, the plants. Okay. What's that? Was that from Sadie? She left me a candy bar? Or is there something else back here? I think we're, st we're all out of ammunition. Oh, what else is here? Newspaper scrap. Photograph. Shaving kit. Hang on, let me go first person, maybe that'll help me. Whoa. Hosea, Dutch, and Arthur. That's a really young Arthur. 
Lyle Morgan Arthur's father, Larceny. Aww. Puppers. Alrighty, what time is it? I probably got, got 15 minutes left. Uh, I don't see anything else. Did, there, did she really just leave me just that candy bar? Hang on. Turn to your tent later for a reward. Mr. Morgan, can I ask you a favor? If, if it's convenient, I mean. Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Season? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Oh, well, funny you say that, because I feel like I've gotten a lot of those. Some herbs. Hang on, can I talk to her again? Here's those herbs you asked for. Ah, uh, excellent, thank you. I'll flick these in Pearson's pot when he's not looking. <laughs> That's all he needed. Yeah, I'm picking up every single plant I come across. Alright, seriously, what did Sadie leave me? Oh, that's a mean looking mustache now. <laughs> Get the Clark Gable. I don't even know what that is now. Alright, now I don't know. Wait, hold on, what? Flower. That looks like a gun oil, but I don't see what else there is. Sadie, what'd you leave me? That's a mean thing to say, Dutch. That's a very mean thing to say. Morning. So, I got hold of that fountain pen for you. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Here, please take this. It's something I acquired along the way. Hmm, okay. Also, well, what's this? Arthur, you look odd. You want to talk? Leave me alone, will you? I don't know. Sure, why not? I just don't feel myself. More therapy for Arthur. Although there's a lot going on compared to between Abigail and John. I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. <laughs> Well, <laughs> also killed a bunch of innocent folk. I don't know why. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry about everything, about how this is going to end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. That's about all the animals I've ran over with uh, Rutherford. That's funny. Beg your pardon, Karen. Watch yourself. That is funny. Alright, let's see if I can find Sadie. She if she's got anything to tell me. Mr. Morgan, I feel I made a bit of a uh, fool great. Now myself what? again. Well, uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. 
Yeah, I'd like that. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. What is that? Well, thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but oh, I pocket didn't watch. forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Be well. All right, where's Sadie? Maybe she'll say something, like a hint about what it is, or... Or is she on patrol again? Only have time I see her around here is that she's either on guard or feeding the chickens. Bit much there. Was that so Bill? Arthur, is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Good morning, and more items to look for. Uh, I'm not gonna play dominoes. All right, I'm gonna sweep around my camp one more time. Try and see what the hell Sadie left me. What is that? Hold on, what is that? Just a box, apparently. So she either left me gun oil or a chocolate bar. Or something that I haven't seen. Either way, we're just going to go ahead and call it a night. And we'll pick this up again. On. We'll just nap for a little bit. Yeah, we'll pick this up again. Uh, was that Monday? I believe. Yeah, we'll pick this up again on Monday. So yeah, uh, tomorrow hopefully we'll be able to do some more, um, some more a way out with Bat Gwen. Uh, we haven't played that in like what two weeks, so we're gonna try and see if we're able to do it. Uh, was it um, not yesterday, but Friday? But we weren't able to do. I was like either we were doing. No, hold on. It was either. Yeah, we either play Friday or Sunday. I think that's what we've like planned out because we're, we're gonna be able to do it on Sun uh, Saturday. But I, I digress. But um, yeah, we'll just pick this up again on Monday, and tomorrow hopefully we'll be doing some more a uh, way out. But uh, that concludes our session of Red Dead Redemption Two tonight. Uh, if you like that stream, uh, check out more information on upcoming streams as well as uh, things I have tentative tentatively tentatively planned in the future via Bravo site, link down below. And from there you can also find out um, uh, along with the other uh, more information on future streams, you can also check out my connected uh, streamers on the connections page, uh, the League of Ordinary Streamers, as well as the Discords I, I am attached to, although I think uh, I don't remember if the discords are actually there. It's been a while since I updated it. I really need to get back on that, but uh, yeah, check them out. Uh, for more streams ranging from the interesting to the entertaining, and also if you um, you can also check out my past streams via the archive, also via Bravo site. And if you've got any burning questions, comments, or complaints that you would like me to know about, or any suggestions you might have for me for future let's plays, let's tries Johnny versus or WTF gaming, I'm missing a letter in that uh, pre-show music. Uh, God dang it! 
I gotta check that next time. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you got any burning questions, comments, complaints that you would like me to know about, or any suggestions you might have for me for future Let's Plays, Let's Tries, Johnny Versus, or WTF Gaming, head on over to the contact page on Bravo site and shoot them out to me over there. Uh, what else am I missing? Anything? I don't think I am. But yeah, thank you for joining me tonight, and I'll hopefully catch you guys tomorrow. Take care. Love and hype. Life is good. Good night, everyone.